Hi everyone, this is the user interface for Billing Mini MX Android TV box that's powered by AMLogic S905 quad-core Cortex A53 processor. It's a 64-bit ARM processor with 1GB RAM, 8GB flash. So in this video, I'm just going through the user interface. This is the main screen at the top left you have the icons for storage and network connection now I have a SD card connected and I'm connected to the internet via Ethernet top right the time in the middle here you have uh, some folders for applications okay that's four folders you have the list of apps some of which I installed uh, by myself for testing the settings I'll go to that later and you have shortcuts at the bottom here you have got a list of apps they are not installed they will just redirect through to the Play Store for example Netflix This is Cody. This is Cody Mate. It will install. It will install plugins uh, for Cody. Cannot remember. Uh, this is the file manager. Another file manager. Maybe the other one was a media player. I didn't use it much. The web browser. And this one is to add or remove apps. For example, you don't want this one. You want to add Amazon. And it's been updated. There is also the status bar. If you don't like it, you can hide it. If you need it, I'm using a melee hair mouse. I'm not sure you can see because it's dark for the pointer but if you have a mouse air mouse you can pull from the bottom to access it okay and well now this would be a boring part uh, but if you have some specific needs I will go through the all the settings network Wi-Fi Ethernet and VPN display okay you've got a bunch of resolutions here actually I set it to 4k 2k at 60 Hertz but sometimes it will fall back to 1080p 50 so this one is to adjust the screen position in case you have overscan screen rotation it's a little uh, funny and daydream. I have not tried daydream. Oh, not finished. Sound. We've got the system sound on or off and digital sound for PCM, normal output, stereo output to your TV, HDMI pass through or SPDF pass through. Apps, you can here. Yeah, you can, if you are patient, you will get a list of downloaded apps, system apps, and running apps. Oops, okay, that's the list. <coughs> Storage and reset. So, it will show the storage but only the internal storage, not external storage or a micro SD card. This will show some uh, technical information. I have just done a firmware upgrade to 103L1. Okay, you can set the date and the time. Uh, 
Yeah, there is no time zone here, so you will have to go in the Android settings, we'll see later. Language. Okay, let's go through the list. Keyboard, you have some options. Okay, I will not go through the. There is HDMI CC, but it's not working. It will just say this remote device does not support CC. Playback settings, uh, what does that mean? I don't know. HDMI self adaptation. Or maybe it means uh, automatic frame rate. Accessibility. Captions. Mm, this one is empty. Text to speech. More settings. I will go there later. Here in remote accessories, uh, you can add the Bluetooth. Okay, this one will just go to the Android settings. This work well. This this uh, works well. I have ins I have uh, connected three devices. My phone, a smartwatch, and a Bluetooth headset. Headset. Okay, and after you get some location, accounts, and stuff. All right. So let's go to more settings. That's a Google Lollipop settings. So you can see data usage with Wi-Fi. Looks like they will not let you use uh, arrow keys to access uh, settings. No, if you go to Ethernet, you will just <laughs> go back here. More airplane mode, right. Portable hotspot and VPN. Okay, but uh, most of the uh, most of the useful settings. Uh, in the aim logic settings application as just showed here yeah, storage you have the internal uh, flash here we show the real total space 4.70 gigabyte and the fake one after it's loaded everything okay 32 gigabyte SD card I inserted is fine and these two are NTFS and FAT32. No, no, NTFS is on X FAT hard drives. They were mounted, but there is a bug in AMLogic SDK and it will only detect 10 megabyte free space. Okay, this is standard. Same. Security language input. I have already gone through it. Date and time. Accessibility. It's enabled, but I have not tried it. Printing on about media box. Had the same information as previously. Okay, I go back here and now I press the power button. And the box is turned up. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye bye.